50,000 barrels of oil have been spewing into the Gulf of Mexico since April 22, 2010. And according to British Petroleum CEO Tony Hayward, it's all been reaching the surface. The oil is on the surface. There aren't any plumes. Of course, it doesn't matter that scientists from the University of South Florida, University of Georgia, and Southern Mississippi University have actually seen, sampled, and analyzed giant underwater plumes of oil. A lie told often enough becomes the truth. In response to the blatant evidence proving them to be liars, British Petroleum COO Doug Suttles made these statements. We haven't found any large concentrations of oil under the sea, and, and to my knowledge, no one has. But, but he said we there were no plumes under small. the sea, sir, and these scientists are confirming that there are plumes under the sea. Well, Meredith, it may be down to how you define what a plume let me ask you about these plumes because there's this growing scientific evidence. We're getting scientific body after scientific body saying these plumes exist. Some of them, as you just heard in our piece, may be miles and miles wide. Last week, your CEO said, we don't think they're there. Does BP really not think those plumes are underwater? Well, well, Harry, the best thing to look at here is the data itself, and, and we've published our data, NOAA's published theirs, um, uh, where we've been, been sharing that uh, quite openly. A simple openly answer would be appreciated here. Do you not believe well, these Harry, plumes exist? Harry, there are not, that we, no one has found any large concentrations of oil beneath the so surface. So these scientists no, are no making it up. So the scientists are making it up. No large concentrations. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Actually, a simple back-of-the-envelope calculation, something BP is hoping their gullible sheep won't do, reveals how horrible these low-concentration plumes actually are. Every day, 50,000 barrels of oil spew into the Gulf. That's an Exxon Valdez every five days. I think we can all agree that's really really bad. One day's worth of oil is enough to produce a solid, unfragmented surface mat of oil one millimeter thick, covering roughly five square kilometers. But what if we turn that same catastrophic amount of oil into an underwater plume? Let's evenly distribute that same five square kilometer surface mat of oil over 1,000 meters of depth. You end up with one part of oil in every one million parts seawater. Or to put it another way, a single drop of oil, equal in size to a drop of water that drips from your faucet in every 50 liters of seawater. Yes, the concentration is very low. That's because a plume is three-dimensional, while a surface slick is two-dimensional. If the concentration were any higher, this wouldn't be a catastrophic oil spill. It would be apocalyptic. Low concentration plumes hold enormous volumes of oil. To date, British Petroleum is responsible for roughly 2.8 million barrels of oil spilled into the Gulf of Mexico. Not counting lost revenue, not counting depreciated stock value, not counting the cost to stop the gusher, not counting the cost to clean up the oil, and not counting the criminal and civil lawsuits that will hammer them. The EPA alone can hit BP with a fine of more than $12 billion simply for spilling that much oil. Let's do the one thing BP doesn't want us to do. The chant is, drill, baby, drill. No, Sarah, that's what got us into this mess in the first place. I have a new idea. Let's try Think Baby Think.